Howdy y'all, here we are on Quattro Colinas. Gonna be our last little jaunt through the map. And I'm gonna hit up the Iberian Mufon. Now, I really hadn't hunted this map since they did the reset, which I know was 16 months ago, but I didn't play very much before before the Great One Moose came out. And for some reason, the Great One Moose just like really motivated me. Might have something to do with that first video being pretty successful. So, uh, here I am back on Quacho, and they retextured the Mouflon the same time as the Moose. So, they're definitely worth checking out. They pay pretty well. They're in large groups. The only downfall to them is they're at night. But they fill some of the plaques where I've got placeholders. I don't necessarily need the move on there, but that's what's there. So I decided I was going to go around and check and see what I had on my map. And I had quite a few. Map was pretty loaded. So let's uh, get into it. Don't forget to like, sub, comment down below. And once we get wrapped up with the hunts, I will uh, see you in the lodge. I swear this map is so unnerving at night, but I think it's mostly because of the wolves. But I'm out here, I'm checking for a uh, Mouflon. And what inspired me to come hunt Mouflon was, I've been having pretty good luck on this map, so might as well come check it out. Oh, that's a big old group of Mouflon. I like this lake. Oh, he looks kind of chonky. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, but they're the only thing I hate about Mouflon and these sheep species. They some tiny boys. I feel like you got to move in there close. But, uh, I got the seven mil. Oh, we got some over here, too. Where are you calling from? Oh. Got the level four. So he probably the, he probably the chunky boy in that herd. Oh, there are a whole bunch of move on at this lake. This might be the best move on lake on the map. All right, there might be, heck, there might even be one more pack right here. I say pack, you know what I mean? Actually, I wonder what Mouflon are. They should be a herd. I mean, well, they're herd animal, but they should be like a flock. Cause all they are is just wild sheep. Shep. All right, 150 makes me feel good enough. And I'm using the, really? I'm using the seven millimeter. Come on, I need, where are you going? Oh, you're coming towards me, okay. Oh, I'm gonna hit him in the head. All right, come on, oh, yeah. That works. Well, he, he died instantly, so. Seven millimeter, probably a little overkill for Mouflon, but. You know, it's kind of like a. Certain games where it's like, just pick the best thing you can use because it counts the same on everything. At least that's the way the way of the hunter is like, oh, you, you destroyed more meat, so you get less money, but. It, once you're good on money, it's like, why use any weapon outside of the, the hardest hitting one? You know, other than personal preference, but it, just strictly from a game sense. 
Oh yeah, he was a. I don't know. I don't. I have like one of these, so I don't even know what the diamond is. But we'll take a photo of him just in case. There we go. All right, we got a photo of him. Let's pick him up and let's see what this bad boy is. Let's see if he's a diamond. 185.67. Yeah, so he was pretty well over. I'm pretty sure his bottom estimate was higher than 179. So, oh, yeah. I need, isn't there a Mouflon multi mount where there it's like collision or something like that? So, I need another Mouflon. So, we're going to keep on checking because. These sheep, man, you can have three, four diamonds a piece of each one. This used to be like one of the easiest things to get a diamond on back in the day. You know, somebody's like, what do I do to get a diamond? Hey, I don't get any diamonds. It's like, just go on multiplayer on Quality Cleanness and check sheep. Like, literally, you'll find one. Like, I checked two servers and had two diamonds. All you gotta do is check them all because there's a during the drink time during the morning is all the sheep or all the ibex are drinking together so you can hunt those and then mouflon do their own thing if they're like i think it's 20 what was it? 2000, uh, 20, I don't know. It's like 2000 to 2230 or something weird. 2300, 2330, something like that. Oh, well, I, I guess I could just look right here. Where is it? <laughs> it is 1800 to 2100. So and we got nine minutes to go check something else. Alrighty, well, that's a diamond, and we're gonna keep on checking them. See if we can find another one. Make sure none of those fours are diamond potential. Nope. All right, now this lake used to be loaded with a uh, um mouflon, but I don't know if it is anymore. Okay, I guess that's a yes. Well, looks like we got our multi mount. That works for me. It's because there's a million of these freaking things. Well, that was a hell of a thing to just spot as the first thing. Alrighty. There's probably a herd here or a flock or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you want to call them. But uh, apparently they're just on this side. All right. And he would turn some funky direction. Man, there's some nice ones out here too. Got a lot of fours. When they did the reset of the times and uh, cause they reworked the way these look too, right? Yeah, once they did that, like I never came back and checked these cause they were the only things that got like a pop reset. Because at that time, that was also like trying to get a red deer great one before the moose great one came out or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So like if you didn't have a great one, you know, red deer or, you know, white tail, then this was that lull in between, you know, maps being released when you would want to go and try to get things done. And then they moved these the night they used to be in the morning. Or daytime, at least. I think they used to drink the same time as all the other sheep. So you would have Mouflon, Ibex, Rhonda, Basit. You know, they'd all be chilling. 
but all right well i got the seven mil and he, it'll probably destroy him like even at that angle but i don't know if i want to take that shot or not wait why are you running oh i got that close my bad Wait, where are you going, Shep? Is it already 21? No, it ain't 2100. Why y'all tripping? Sheps, no. Okay, I'm not spotting stalking through the night. So, yeah. We are going to exit the main menu and come back. And that'll make them tr quit tripping. And then you come back in. And then should be good to go. They probably came right back to their, yep. Came right back to where they were. So if you ever do that and you spook a group, if you, as long as you got a tent near you, it's an easy, just exit to main menu. Especially if you don't want to have to be tracking them, chasing them all over the place. Cause you know how that is sometimes. You'll have a track time of or a track distance of, you know, two kilometers or some crazy stuff. Hey, he's got a better angle this time, too. So this time, I'm just going to walk up here because I don't have to worry about the angle. And we're going to knock him down. Now, he is 169 to 192, but his horns look pretty good. So he should be okay. All right. Let's take him out. And he did a front flip. Crumpled him up like an old windy sack. Uh, man, you think I would have been used to pulling out my night vision as much as I was hunting wolves. All right, let's get over here and check out our move lawn and see what he looks like. But this means now I can get the other multi mount up and I don't have to have like a, you know, a single wildebeest sitting there. I can put him back on the wall or something. Yeah, this one, uh, I don't know, but you can tell they improved the quality of the, the model. It looks, looks just a hair better. Now, if they would just do that with the Iberian Wolves, we'd be Gucci. Oh, and yeah, he's a diamond. 182.57. Oh, yeah. And their horns look do look a lot better. That is for sure. Like, the big horns, they, they could use a little love because they look a little funky here and there. Like, the really, really massive big horn sheep rack looks okay. But all the other racks look ridiculous. All right. Oh, better get him taxed. And then we will uh, keep going around because whenever I do a night hunt like this, I just want to find as many as I can and get it done with. Because, man, I do not like night hunts because the world of green is just no good. Night hunts in Medved, though, they're actually not that bad. Night hunts in Medved are tolerable because it is pretty bright because of the, uh, you got the moonlight reflecting off of the snow. So it, uh, it gives you that double source of light. So you almost don't even have to use your uh, night vision. If you're hunting out on the snow, you I mean, out on the uh, lakes and the rivers, you don't even need your night vision. All right, well, that's two diamonds. 
and uh we're gonna keep checking these other lakes and see if we can uh clean up any rares or maybe get another diamond hell who knows all right i saved the river for last and i'm about halfway down it or i'm almost to where the boat is and Looks like I found me a nice little uh, herd here with a level five in it. So we got to get down here where we can try and take him out. Oh, we got some more right here. Yeah, they are all over the place on this river. So definitely a good place to be checking out. But for some reason, I, I just have a million level fives on this map of Iberian Mouflon. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. It, it's a weird one to have a whole bunch of diamonds, like or level fives. I don't even know if he's a diamond because he's got a he's got a might not make it estimate. This isn't a diamond. I don't even know. He might just be a troll. No diamonds. Oh, what is diamond? I don't know. Here we go. It is. So it's like 180 or 181. So he's like barely got a chance. But his, uh, I can't tell what his horns look like from this far. It looks like he's probably a troll. At least that's my guess. That's probably why you see more. I feel like the ones you see more fives of them. Then you uh, tend to get trolls more often on them. Because then there can be more fives. So it doesn't seem like it's like, oh, it just always has fives on the map. Because if there's fives that have a chance of not getting diamond, then it probably has a higher chance of spawning them since a lot of them will not make it. But you gotta love it when it has that, that estimate that makes you think like, well, that ain't gonna be no good. I mean, even that level four looks really good. All right, where is he? There he is. Okay. So we're, he's broadside too, so it's a really good all right there we go and this is the next day so i've switched over to the 308 and do it all right I think we're right here by the boat, so we can take that and go across. I think, yeah, we're right here by the boat, so we can take the boat and go across and see if he's a diamond. And then I'll probably have to reset the time. I haven't been shooting a ton of these. I've just been going through and seeing what's up. And then if there's a like decent level four or something, I'll go ahead and shoot it. Cause I don't want to go completely broke. Cause if all you do is shoot trophies and tax them and don't shoot anything else, then you'll, uh, you'll go broke real quick. And plus with the new map coming out, you want to make sure you have enough for a full load of tents and a full load of tripods. So that would be 160,000 
dollars. So you need three hundred twenty thousand dollars total. So uh, now's the time if you haven't, if you're not at that much, make sure you're saving up, or you'll have to go cannibalize your other maps for all the tents you have out on those. Okay. Uh, I think he's a troll. I don't know. But we'll see. Take us a nice little photo of him real quick. Alright. Let's see what the damage is. Oh no, he made it. 179.56. He had a really low estimate, so I wasn't sure. Alright. Well, that's move line number three. All right, we got one more spot left to run around to check for some mouflon. But considering I already got three diamonds, I don't expect much else. But I'm going to run over here and check this last spot. And if there ain't nothing there, we'll uh, head to the lodge and check out the three we did get. Here we are in the lodge. We got our three Iberian move line up on the wall. We got these two fellas here yesterday. And then on the trip up the river, we got this little guy right here. So that finished off this wall for me. So now it's nothing but rares and diamonds. The only thing left in this room is, you know, side grades and remodeling. That's about it. So uh, that's pretty good. The uh, I think I got like 14 plaques total left to upgrade because it's the small plaques like that you put birds and stuff on. Those are the ones that you, you know it takes a little bit more effort to get some stuff for, but once we get it, we're gonna be good to go. So, uh, until next time, hope y'all have some good luck out there. Have a blessed day. Much love and peace out, y'all.